121, example number two. So I'm going to start off reading with what I need to solve for. So I see here how many moles. So my, I need to end in moles. So when I take here, remember the right hand side, this is where our math ends, somewhere here on the right hand side. So this one is asking me to get to this box or to the to this spot moles on the right and it belongs to ammonia okay so I'm just going to label it well I have to also continue reading what information am I supplied to go from the left to end up here on the right so the left side is where we start and when I look through this I see it says 0.6 and I see that unit moles so I understand that I get to start in this mole box and I have 0 0.60 moles and it belongs to this substance N2. So I take a look up here, okay? N2 is nitrogen, that's not ammonia. And when I take a look up here, I see H2, that's hydrogen, N2 is nitrogen, and I see this other formula, NH3, that must be the way to ke the chemical formula for ammonia. So I figured it out even if I wasn't familiar with its chemical formula. So now that I know where I'm starting and where I need to go, so it's a simple crossing this one line, heading from moles of N2 to get to moles of ammonia, I'm going to start my mathematical setup. So here we go. We have 0 0.60 moles of N2. When I'm crossing over one of these lines to the next quantity, that means I need an equivalence. So I'm going to make my little equivalence here. What I want to make appear is moles and I'm going to use the formula NH3 because that's easier to write than the word ammonia. So I want to get to moles of ammonia, and I want to make moles of N2 disappear. And so I have moles N2 upstairs, moles N2 downstairs. They will mathematically reduce to 1, and then I'm left with moles of NH3. Okay, so now I need a relationship between ammonia and N2. So this relationship comes from the recipe or the balanced reaction. So I'm going to go take a look up top. So I am given the bare bones of the reaction. And when I take a look, I see two hydrogens on the left and three on the right. So right away that tells me it's not balanced. I've got to figure it out. Three hydrogens on the right two on the left. I need to think of a common multiple, so I'm going to think in the values of six. So to make my hydrogen count go from two up to six, I'm going to put a coefficient of three in front of the H2. From there, and now I have six H's on the left. Now I want to fix that same problem on the right. I have three hydrogens on the right. If I put a coefficient of two, two times three makes it six. Now I have the same count of H on both sides. And without thinking about it, by putting this 2 here, it raises my nitrogen count from 1 up to 2. And I have two nitrogens on the left. So since I don't need to put in a coefficient value in front of N2, I understand that its coefficient is 1. And for this exercise, I'm going to write in a coefficient of 1. So if I'm simply asked, well, what is the mole, the relative mole ratio between the products and reactants in this reaction? I can simply state after balancing it, well, this recipe reaction requires three moles of hydrogen gas to every one mole of nitrogen gas to produce two, NA, two moles of NH3 or two moles of ammonia. Like I said before, so that I grab the right information, what I put down here is only 
the two substances I'm working the math with. So I need to know information about N2 and I need to know information about NH3 for the math problem. So the relationship is for every two moles of NH3, it requires one mole of N2. So when I put this into my calculator, 0 0.60 times 2 divided by 1, I should produce 1.2 moles of NH3. One more example, example 3. So I'm a creature of habit, so I like to start each process the same way. So I read through, and it says in this process, it says how many, which is my clue that that's what I'm solving for, moles. And so I need to go to the right side of my diagram, and I'm going to outline this is where I need to get to mathematically. And it says moles of aluminum. So I'm going to write aluminum. Okay. Are needed, and then I see that I have a number, and it's labeled as moles. So I know that I'm starting here in moles. So the mole number here is 3.7 moles. And I see it belongs to this chemical formula of Al2O3. So when I take a look, I know that I'm going to need this information. Now I have two more chemical formulas left over. One of them's called aluminum. Well, aluminum's chemical formula, is it better represented by Al or O2? So a substance named aluminum is just Al. So I'm going to get my math set up here. So I know that I'm starting with 3.7 moles. And that mole value belongs to the compound Al2O3. I want to go... I want to be able to cross off moles of Al2O3. And I want to end up at moles of aluminum. So now that I have moles of Al, moles of aluminum oxide in a numerator and down below, they reduce to one. And I'm left with this labeling of moles of aluminum. Well, the information I need to put into my equivalents, this comes from the balanced reaction, the recipe that shows the lowest whole number ratio of aluminum and aluminum oxide in the reaction. So when I take a look, is it balanced? Well, I see one aluminum on the left, but there's two on the right. So aluminum, they are not balanced, so I need coefficients other than one. I have two oxygens on the left, three on the right, that one also is not balanced. So I'm going to start with oxygen because I notice on one side it has a subscript of 2 and the other side is a subscript of 3. So I need a common multiple to balance those. So I would use 6. So to make my oxygen count on the left to go up to 6, put a coefficient of 3. 3 times 2 is 6, oxygen count of 6. I want to get that same thing done on the left but my subscript is 3 for the oxygen, so if I put a 2 out in front, 2 times 3 makes that 6. But that 2 also affects my aluminum count. So I started off with 2 aluminums times the coefficient of 2, so I go from 2 aluminums up to 4 aluminums. And when I look on the left, I only have 1 aluminum, so 1 times 4 will make my count 4, so I put in a coefficient of 4. So now that I have a balanced reaction. I circled the two substances in the reaction of interest. Now I know what to put down here in the equivalence. So four moles of aluminum will help to form two moles of aluminum oxide. So now I need to use my calculator. 3.7 times 4 divided by 2. And when I put that into the calculator, I will end up with 7.4 moles of aluminum. So your job now is to work through these you do's. Questions 1, 2, and 3 
the reactions given are already balanced. So you just need to do the dimensional analysis, the correct numerical setup. So all of your full work, it's going to follow what we've done for these, sub, for these three examples. So your correct numerical setup. Questions four and five, notice. First, you gotta balance the reaction, figure out the coefficients in each, the, in the reaction, then do the math. Same thing for number five, balance the reaction first, then do the dimensional analysis or correct numerical setup to figure out the number of moles. Check your answers with your teacher.